Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make a Roblox game where every second you get plus one jump power. Now, this game is based off the game you can screen see on screen here. You'll be able to find this game on the as a very top link in the description. Now, let's get straight into it. So to start, we're going to, of course, need a tower to be able to jump up. So let me build that. Okay, I've got made a jump tower here. This is my jump tower. So we've got to jump up here and get to the top to get a win. Now, what we're going to have to do first, script-wise, is create a leader stats script. This is where all of our data is handled. So let's create a script. We'll call this leader stats under server script service. Now, I'm not going to show you data stores in this video. We've done plenty of videos on data stores. You'll be able to find them on the screen now. And so you, if you want to save any data, you can follow those tutorials and save it there. Alternatively, you can find the script for uh, data stores in our Discord server, which is linked in the description. Okay, now in this leader stats script, we need to say game.players.playeradded colon connect function player. Now, whenever a player is added into the game, this function will be called. Now, let's create the leader stats. So, local leader stats equals instance.new. It will be a folder inside of the player. Leaderstats.name is going to be equal to leaderstats. Now, leaderstats needs to be spelled exactly how you see it on the screen here. There's no spaces or anything. There can't be any capitals, no spaces. It needs to be spelled exactly like that. Next, we're going to create a jump power. So, local jump power equals instance.new, uh, number value, comma, leaderstats. So, it'll be inside the leaderstats. Now, our player already has a jump power inside of it, but this will just display it on, to the player on the screen. So jump power dot name is going to be equal to jump power, and jump power dot value. Let's set it by default to fifty. And the reason I'm setting it to fifty by default is if we go in the game settings world, you you're going to see that uh, our default jump power is fifty. So whatever your default jump power is, set it to that in here. Next we'll make a local wins, which will be equal to instance.new and it will be an int value inside the leader stats. So this will be how many wins the player has. So wins.name will be equal to just wins. And then the value of wins by default is going to be zero. Okay, that's the leader stats script done. So if you just want to pause and copy all that down, here you are. Okay, next what we're going to want to do is we need to actually make sure that the uh, player's uh, jump will actually increase every single second. Now, what we're going to do to do this is we're going to have to create a uh, local script. Now, I'm just going to put this in starter GUI at the minute. Uh, just because it's the easiest place to put uh, to put it. Let's rename this local script to jump increase. Now inside of this jump increase script, well first of all, before we can do anything else, actually rather than jump increase, we'll call this jump handler. Now, what we need to do is under our replicated storage, we need to create a new remote event and call this increase jump. This will increase the jump on the server side. So under this jump handler script, we need to say local player equals game dot players dot local player just so we can access the player. Now while wait one do. Now what this means is every one second it's going to repeat whatever code we have in here. So we need to say if not player dot character, then continue end, which basically means if if there's no so we say we've got co code down here. If there is no player dot character, this code isn't going to be called. This code will all only happen if there's a player dot character. So what we need to say is game dot replicate storage dot increase jump colon fire server. And this now under that fire server, that's where we're going to increase our jump. So let's create another script in under server script service, and I'll rename this script. This one will be called jump increase. like so and under this jump increase script we need to say game dot replicate storage dot increase jump dot on server event colon connect function and we're going to pass in the player so whenever this event is called we're going to call this function and pass in the player 
Now the reason we're passing in the player is because when we call a when we fire server, the player is already passed in as a value by default. So we don't need to put player in here. It's already passed in by default. So then we could say player.character.humanoid.jumppower plus equals one. Uh, we'll do one. Now what we're going to do is for the number of wins we have, we'll add m plus one jump power. Plus equals one plus player dot leader stats dot wins dot value. Like so. And then we'll do player dot leader stats and then jump power because that's the name of the thing we're trying to increase dot value equals the player dot character dot humanoid dot jump power because of course we want the leader stats value to be equal to whatever the actual jump power is awesome now what we need to do is well first of all let's test to make sure everything's working so far so I'm gonna uh, play here now if we do this we should get plus one jump every second which looks like we are 52 53 that's all working. Let's see, are we getting higher? I think we are, slowly but surely. Yep, I think we definitely are getting higher. Of course, you might want to optimise this, make it easier. Yeah, we're definitely getting higher. You can see the app point. There we go, we know that's working. So now what we need to do is create a win pad. So right at the top of this, I'm going to insert a part and I'm going to call it win pad. Here we are, this is my win pad right here. I've called it win pad and inside I've inserted a script. Here we are, this is my pad here. As you can see, I've called it win pad and underneath it, I'm gonna insert a script. Now make sure, by the way, when you're doing this, all of your parts are anchored, the tower, everything, everything needs to be anchored. Now under this script in the win pad, we're going to basically give the player a win, but we need to create a debounce so it doesn't give multiple wins over and over. So let's start by saying debounce equals false. Now what this will do is this debounce will eventually stop the player receiving more than one win when they uh, tap the thing, so that is possible. So this debounce will stop that from happening. So you can say script.parent.touched colon connect function hit so whenever this thing's touched, whenever this win pad's touched, we say if hit dot parent, then hit dot parent. So say uh, the right foot touches the uh, win pad, then hit dot parent would be the actual character. So we need to say local player equals game dot players colon get player from character hit dot parent. And then say so if there is a player, so if player then, if debounce is false, then we're going to set debounce to true. And then we'll say player.character.humanoid root part dot c frame equals workspace dot spawn location dot c frame. This will teleport them away. However, this will only work for R15 characters. So if you go under avatar, make sure your avatar type is on R15. If you're using R6 for your game, this will still work. You just rather than doing humanoid root part, just do upper torso. However, because I'm using R15, I'm going to use humanoid root part. Now, as you see, I've got workspace dot spawn location dot C frame here. Make sure you have a spawn location in your game. So as you can see, mine's kind of center of this circle, not really. Uh, that's where my spawn location is. So yeah, make sure you have a spawn location in your game. And it's called exactly spawn location. Anyway, next what we want to do is in, uh, is set the uh, jump power back to its default. So player.character.humanoid.jumppower. And in fact, I'm going to lower the jump power to 15 by default. I don't like it being 50. I think that's too high to start with. And once we've done that, so player.leaderstats.wins.value plus equals 1. And then we're going to wait three seconds. Um, this will stop the player. Uh, also, this stops the debounce set being set to false straight away. So debounce equals false. So this fixes any problems where we might get more than one win at once. 
It doesn't need to be as extreme as three seconds. You could probably do two or even one. But I wouldn't do anything lower than one second. And that's it here. Now let's close that. I'm going to go into game settings, world, and change the default jump power to 15. Uh, don't worry if you get random decimals after the jump power. That can't really be helped. Under the leader stats, jump power dot value equals 15. Now let's hit uh, play here is what I'm going to do. And you'll see we'll have zero wins. Yep, you'll see we have zero wins. Our jump power goes up. We're really s slow at jumping here. Now I'm just going to cheat and give myself um, a tiny amount of jump power. If I go to my humanoid. There we go, I've got 150 jump power now. Is that going to be enough? Okay, not quite. But you, You'll see that the towers are going to need readjusting a bit to make them um, as good as they can be. There we are. And... One more. Ah, uh, yes. And now you'll see when we hit this, our jump will go back to 15. There we are. And we have one win. And it increases by two now. And so on. And it will keep doing that. And there we go, everyone. That is the basics of making a plus one jump every second game. As I say, you might need to fine tune this, make it as good as it can be. But in the meantime, it's looking pretty good. Now, as I can say, you can add more towers as well, different areas to unlock for different numbers of wins and things. You can add your own currency. You can add power-ups, which give you, like, like maybe orbs, which give you, like, plus 15 jump power. If you, um, They're pretty simple to make. You just need another dot touch function, and then you increase the jump power by, like, 15. Uh, and so, yeah, you can do loads. You can create pets, which give you more jump power, uh, more wins, stuff like that. And yeah, the game, you can make it as however you want it. So thanks for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.